Anthony Mazza was sentenced to life without parole for first-degree murder in 1973 at the age of 25. He spent 47 years and two months incarcerated before being released at the age of 73. Police initially responded to a call for a foul smell and discovered Robert Anderson fleeing the scene. They found the body of 34-year-old Peter Armada tied up in the closet. When Anderson was questioned a few days later, he said he had come home to Anthony Mazza, who had been staying with him, standing over the body. Both men were initially charged with murder, but Anderson's charges were dropped in exchange for grand jury testimony. At trial, multiple people identified Mazza or testified as to his whereabouts, and he was convicted. Mazza's initial appeal, based on a claim of diminished capacity, had been rejected. It wasn't until 30 years later that Mazza filed for a new trial based on information from Anderson's brother that he had been more involved with the crime than his testimony made him seem. This information was not disclosed to the defense. However, this motion too was rejected, as Mazza's attorneys had passed away at this point. But in 2020, Mazza's conviction was vacated due to the affirmation of Robert Anderson's culpability.